What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys for joining me as always. Comment anything down in the comment section and enter your name into the $50 giveaway that I do every single week on this channel. Hopefully you guys had a great night last night. The squad took their second loss of the last 11 slates. We're 9-2 and two in the last 11 slates. And uh, last night was just a weird one. You know what I mean? Like Boston was the top stack. Loved them. They could not hit the ball for shit last night. And then um, just guys, it seemed like batters in great spots did not hit well last night. Bryce Harper, lefty-righty matchup against McCullis, who cannot miss bats this year. Ended up being horrible. Like I said, the Boston guys struggled big time versus a mediocre lefty. You know, it was just one of those nights. That's just DFS. That's why regardless of how hot you get and what type of streak you get on, you have to keep proper bankroll management. You have to be smart with your money. You got to bet smart. All right, regardless if you if you join Greenlight DFS and we go on 12 game win streaks. We have gone on 16 day win streaks. I don't care if we go on a 20 day win streak. That doesn't mean you go all in. You know what I mean? You play smart and uh you just keep rolling. You know what I'm saying? You keep going, keep going, keep going and you keep using the same percentage of your bankroll and you keep stacking up. You never go all in. That's the worst thing you can do in DFS regardless. Um, it doesn't matter if I love the slate and it's my favorite slate of the year or I don't love it too much because guess what? We have dropped some of our highest scores on slates that I wasn't as confident in as some of the ones that maybe we struggled on. You know what I mean? Like I was super confident last night, super, super confident last night, loved the slate last night, loved what we had, was able to get the top pitching options and get some good Boston bats in there, and we ended up struggling, you know what I mean, and then other days, you know, I'm, I might be like, uh, oh, the slate kind of sucks, but, you know, it is what it is, do what I got to do, and then boom, we smash that slate, you know, so regardless Play smart, bankroll management, greenlightdfs.com. We do win consistently. We do work hard. We do do what we got to do. But at the same time, regardless of what type of streak we're on, just play smart, bet smart regardless. All right? Thank you guys for joining me. Let's go ahead and get straight into this. All right? First off, John Lester. We do have a game in course, so we kind of want to get good pitching, but not like spend up too, too crazy because we want some course bats, especially the San Francisco side against Sensatella. Um, John Lester is a solid option here against Miami. Um, the wind is blowing in at 12 miles per hour. Just the same. I know, uh, yesterday we didn't get a great performance out of our Chicago pitcher. He, but he did okay. He did not get blown up. And that's the thing here. You're going to get a solid performance regardless. Vegas has Miami at a three run total. Um, like I said, wind is blowing in 12 miles per hour and in Chicago, that is really, really important because of the way the stadium is, it helps pitching out a lot when that wind is blowing in. So John Lester against Miami, no surprise here. They almost strike out 22% of the time versus lefties. Love John Lester. Next up, Colin McHugh. Another guy who's a solid price. I mean, honestly, for a guy who's fairly consistent, he's had a couple blow-up moments this year, but he's a pretty consistent pitcher, got some good strikeout stuff, and he's only 8-2. So we're getting a solid pitcher for only 8-2 and give us some of the bats we want. Um, McHugh against Kansas City. Uh, like I said with Cole yesterday, I worry a little bit against Kansas City anytime anybody plays Kansas City because Kansas City can blow pitchers up any moment. But they also strike out a good amount. They strike out 24% of the time versus righties. Uh, McHugh is averaging a lot more fantasy points on average when he's at home in Houston. And this game is in Houston, a pitcher-friendly ballpark. Houston are heavily favored to win this game. I expect them to win. Absolutely love McHugh. He's averaging about 23 DraftKings points in the home game so far this year. So I love McHugh. I think he's a solid option at only 8-2. Next up, Brandon Belt against Sensatella, my favorite play of the day. Only 4-4, four, four, 
gets us some cores exposure. Lefty righty matchup against Sensatella. Sensatella is not a good pitcher. He is bottom of the barrel. Um, he gives up a lot of power. This is going to be a great game from these San Francisco guys. I like a lot of San Francisco guys. I definitely like a San Francisco stack because they're not priced ridiculously. You know what I'm saying? So definitely love Brandon Belt. Lefty righty matchup against Sensatella. Belt crushes righties in cores. 5.2 implied total from uh, from uh, Vegas. Love Brandon Belt. Next up, Jose Altuve is just still too cheap. As long as he's under 4-5, I'm on him. At 4-3, Jose Altuve facing a lefty. Love him. He hits lefties very, very well. This Houston total is up there with the course total, 5.2. So, really, you don't have to stack course today. There's positions like guys with he- in Houston. There's guys in Boston uh, that I expect Boston to fully bounce back up against Hess. But... You know, you can go anyway. You can play any of these games in cores. You can play Houston and you can play Boston. But those are the stacks I would stick with for sure. But Altuve at only 4-3. He's an elite baseball player for a very good price. Last but not least, just to be a little different, you could go Story here. You could go Arenado. But instead, I'm going to go J.D. Martinez. I think he bounces back here. Uh, J.D. is elite. He dropped a donut last night. I do not expect that to happen again. Boston actually has the highest implied total. Okay, they have the highest implied total. It's even higher than Colorado at this moment that I'm recording this. Against Hess in hitter-friendly park in Baltimore, I love J.D. Martinez. I think Boston bounces back in a big way here. Just keep in mind, this is DFS. Hess could end up going out and pitching a gem and shutting Boston out. But I'm going to do my job and make sure I give you guys the best possible lineup that I could possibly build at greenlightdfs.com. So thank you guys for joining me. We are going to smash tonight. Get right back on a streak. Remember, regardless of how hot we do get, though, Keep your smart bankroll management. Never go all in. You want to live to see another day, no matter what, all right? Uh, Thank you guys for joining me. John Lester, Colin McHugh, Brandon Bell, Jose Altuve, and J.D. Martinez. It's the high five. Um, And that's about it. At Cam underscore ATL. Thank you guys for joining me.